Hello friends, my name is Vikas. So friends, in today's video, we will be discussing some of the most important current affairs of the topic apps and web portals of February month. The session will be highly important and will provide you enough information for your preparation for your exams. So friends, let's start with our information. So friends, we have an app by the name Carious Cloud, which you can go and download through the Play Store in your Android phones. This app will help you in boosting your preparation. Once you have downloaded this app, you can go and log in with your Gmail or Google ID in this application. And once you have logged in, then you will be transferred to this page here. On this page, you will be able to see home, all courses, my courses and doubt sessions also. So in the courses, if we talk to you in the courses in our purchase, if you purchase course from us, we will be providing you with multiple material for your preparation material such as your daily current affairs, your weekly current affairs, your monthly current affairs. In daily, we will be providing you with 20 questions quiz an ebook that is in your pdf formats of the questions of that particular day then we'll be providing you in weekly with the same 50 question quiz that will be a compiled and important 50 questions and also we'll be providing you a compiled pdf of the weekly current affairs then in the question answer format also it will be a very helpful pdf and similarly for monthly also we'll be providing you important monthly current affairs on a monthly basis so the same content you will be revising maximum number of times and it will help you in your preparation we'll also provide material related to your banking and awareness also and apart from that we'll be covering all important topics such as your apps and web portal important days books and authors national affairs international affairs sports defense awards obituary important days and what not everything will be covered in this topic wise by me only so apart from that we also provide state wise current affairs that will also help you to prepare for the regional exams coming all right so friends this is the app that you should definitely go and download if you want to step up your preparation apart from that if you want to purchase any course from our application then to help you out we'll be providing an additional 10% discount if you use Vikas 10 code. I repeat, if you want to avail an extra 10% discount on all the uh, purchase you made through the application, you will be provided with 10% discount on the purchase by using this code that is your Vikas 10. So friends, let's start. First, we'll be talking about Suraj ability. This is an AI that is your artificial intelligence based platform for the disabled job seekers. That means for all the disabled persons, those who are looking for job opportunities, those who are unemployed and want to work in specified sectors for those persons specifically, this artificial intelligence based platform named Surajability was launched. That is basically for disabled people who are looking for job. A beta version that you can say a test version of Surajability that is India's first job portal powered by artificial intelligence for specially abled job seekers has been launched by Vijay Raghavan who is the principal scientific advisor to the union government or you can say who is PSA to the union government. So name of the application is Surajability. It is India's first job portal that is powered by artificial intelligence and it is specifically made for whom for the specially abled persons who are looking for jobs who developed this portal this portal is being developed by indian institute of technology hyderabad telangana is this uh, hyderabad telangana in association with youth for jobs visual quest and kotak mahindra bank if asked Name the bank that has been associated with Surajability. It will be your Kotak Mahindra Bank and the institute that is developing this Surajability will be your Indian Institute of Technology, Hyderabad, Telangana. Another question related to IIT will become where is the first IIT of India that will be established outside India? It will be in Dubai, UAE. All right. Then Surajability helps people or job seekers with disabilities acquire relevant skills and find jobs after analyzing their profile. That means to the job seekers, this will provide skills. Then based on these relevant skills, it will be providing 
job opportunities to them so that they can go and apply for the job as a part of a quadruple partnership iit hyderabad offers its expertise in ai visual quest india has developed the platform youth for jobs provide skilling services to the job seekers while the kotak mahindra bank is funding this project so who is funding the surajibility it is being funded by kotak mahindra bank next there are 21 million persons with disabilities in india out of which 70% are either employed or underemployed this project will aid them in getting better employment opportunities under the right to pwd act of or that is your person with disability act of 2016 for the first time highlights the right of a person with disability to education and employment then apart from this remember some books and current authors these are of february month so it will be a quick revision for you bill gates has authored a new book titled how to prevent the next pandemic bill gates was also the person who was awarded with hilale pakistan that is the second highest civilian award of pakistan it was given to bill gates because his ngo that is your bill and melinda gates foundation is working towards the eradication of polio from earth so that is the reason he was awarded with hilale pakistan samuel mon authored a book titled humane how the united states abandoned peace and reinvented war aro khanna authored the book titled dignity in a digital age making tech work for all of us uma das gupta authored a new book being a history of shri niketan rabindranath tagore's pioneering work in roller construction jimmy soni authored a book titled the founders the story of paypal and entrepreneurs who shaped silicon valley who was the founder of paypal if you remember he was elon musk all right moving on priyam gandhi modi authored a book titled a nation to protect mark this then coming back to some important webs and app portals quit app or quit app tobacco ya quit tobacco app important mark this as we know tobacco has or smoking has become one of the most important problems that need to be tackled even many countries are banning the consumption of tapo or tobacco or uh, smoking of tobacco right from this year recently world health organization who has recently launched an application named quit tobacco world health organization launched the app that is the quit tobacco app it is to help people quit tobacco use in all forms including smokeless and other related products it is a first of its kind application that will help users identify the triggers and set targets manage cravings and stay focused on quitting tobacco who world health organization is the only organization that is responsible for naming the covid-19 variants and these variants are named in the greek alphabets WHO quit tobacco app this is a first such initiative of WHO it was launched during WHO's year long commit to quit tobacco control campaign the app helps in spreading awareness about the harmful effect of consuming tobacco among the people every year tobacco which is the world's leading cause of preventable death kills nearly 8 million person WHO launched a first of its kind artificial intelligence based virtual health worker that was called Florence to provide 24/7 digital cons- counseling on quitting smoking tobacco use in southeast asia region of WHO WHO southeast region is among the largest producers and consumers of the tobacco product mark this the uh, southeast asia region is the largest producer as well as the consumer of tobacco products tobacco use is a major risk factor for non communicable disease including cancer cardiovascular disease chronic lung disease and diabetes if we talk about who 
Its headquarters is in Geneva, Switzerland. It was founded in 1948. There are 194 members in this, and Tedros Adnos Gibrises is the director general of WHO. Apart from this, UNDP. Where is the headquarters of UNDP? It is in New York. Where is the headquarters of United Nations Environment Programme? It is in Nairobi, Kenya. Then where is the headquarters of UNESCO? Its headquarters is in Paris. All right. Then IMF, International Monetary Fund, World Bank. They both have their headquarters in Washington D.C. IMF, uh, not IMF. ISA International Solar Alliance its headquarter is in India and India to remember it is in Gurugram Haryana the headquarter of ISA next some quick revision for appointments and resignations for February month Dinesh Prasad Saklani appointed director of NCERT Disha Patani appointed as the brand ambassador of Bata India Akshay Kumar appointed as the brand ambassador of Uttarakhand. Remember, Rishabh Pant was also appointed as the state brand ambassador of Uttarakhand for promoting sports in the youth of Uttarakhand. S R Narshiman assumed the additional charge of chairman and managing director of Posoko, that is Power System Operation Corporation Limited. Anni Krishan Nair appointed as the director of Vikram Sarabhai Space Center. Amitabh Bachchan appointed as the brand ambassador of Medi Buddy. Next, Assam became the first state to launch night navigation mobile app for ferry services. Highly important. Three four questions from this particular image only that can be framed. First question: Which state became the first state to launch? night navigation mobile application it was launched by assam mark this first question then assam became the first state to launch night navigation mobile app for what services it was launched for ferry services all right then other question can be framed that assam became the first state to launch dash mobile app for ferry services so it is a night navigation mobile application for ferry services so three things remember assam night navigation and ferry services what is ferry ferry as you can see here it is basically you as a mode of transport or you can say a bus dtc bus for transportation from one place to another similarly for water it is a ferry chief who is the chief minister of assam Himanta Biswa Sharma is the chief minister of Assam. He has launched India's first night navigation mobile application that is basically for ferry services and on what river this is also important this is on the river Brahmaputra. All right highly important this night mobile night navigation mobile application for ferry services will be used where it will be used on what river it will be used in Brahmaputra river. It was developed by State Transport Department in association with K Raju, the principal scientist of Indian Institute of Technology, Madras. So, who developed it? It was developed by IIT Madras. The first night journey of IWT, that is Inland Water Transport Ferry between Guwahati and North Guwahati, was started on 19th of Feb. Chief Minister also launched 10 Aadhaar-based contactless services of the State Transport Department to make public service delivery time efficient and budget friendly. Chief Minister also launched e-ticketing system for Dhubri and Silchar ferry services. A memorandum of understanding that is MOU was signed between the Common Services Center under the Ministry of Electronics and Information and Technology and State Transport Department to provide online services at the panchayat level. If we talk about Assam, Governor is Professor Jagdish Mukhi, and there are two dams that you need to remember here: Karbi Langpi Dam and Umrong Dam. They are both located in Assam. So coming back. we are talking about night navigation mobile application that is for ferry services it is launched in assam and on river that you should also know on which it will be used is brahma putra river all right highly important on what river it will be used it will be used on brahma putra river 
नेक्स्ट जन भागीदारी एम्पावरमेंट पोर्टल विद हायर बैंड विथ वॉज रिसेंटली लॉन्च इन जम्मू एंड कश्मीर यूनियन टेरिटरी ऑफ जम्मू एंड कश्मीर होस्टेड जन भागीदारी एम्पावरमेंट पोर्टल ऑन अ डिफरेंट सर्वर विद हायर बैंड विथ टू प्रोवाइड ईजी एंड रेडी एसेसिबिलिटी टू जनरल पब्लिक सो इट वॉज यूज इन यूनियन टेरिटरी ऑफ जम्मू एंड कश्मीर इट एम्स to minimize the digital divide and encourage the citizens to access the website to gain awareness and information about the works in their respective areas this provides detailed information about the nature status and the number of development works being executed in the area such as each district block municipality and village this portal also links to schemes like manrega that is mahatma gandhi national rural employment guarantee act प्रधान मंत्री आवास योजना दैट इज बेसिकली फॉर प्रोवाइडिंग फ्री होम्स एस एम बी दैट इज स्वच्छ भारत मिशन एंड एस बी एम रूरल एंड पी एम जी एस वाई दैट इज प्रधानमंत्री ग्राम सड़क योजना दैट मीन्स ऑल द विलेजेस विल बी कनेक्टेड थ्रू द विलेजेस कनेक्टेड थ्रू द बिग ग्रेटर रोड्स सिटीजन्स विल गेट इंस्टेंट एक्सेस एंड इंफॉर्मेशन अबाउट द वर्कस बींग कैरी आउट अंडर दिस पर्टिकुलर स्कीम्स that means proper management is done anyone from the state can access or to ha- can have these information that what are the updates on these projects and they can keep a check on all these facilities and schemes then some important revision for sports for feb month india's sadia tarik won gold in russia wushu star championship 2022 India secured 8 medals at Singapore Weightlifting International 2022. Then 31st edition of South East Asian Games will be held where they will be held in Vietnam. Daniel Medvedev ranked the new ATP world number 1 and he overthrew whom or he overtook the position of Novak Djokovic. All right, he overtook whom? He overtook Novak Djokovic and who is the new ATP world number 1 player in this is related to tennis who is the new number 1 tennis player Daniel Medvedev next union minister shri giriraj singh has recently launched an ombuds person application for mahatma gandhi that is your manrega all right mahatma gandhi national rural employment guarantee act so i repeat who launched this ombuds person app it was launched by union minister shri giriraj singh and for what it was released it was released for mahatma uh, manrega basically union minister for rural development and panchayati raj who is he giriraj singh what did he launch ombuds person app for what it was launched it was launched for manrega that is mahatma gandhi national rural employment guarantee act so ombudsman person app is directly linked to manrega now so you should remember all right so this launching of this ombudsman app was a step towards e governance for ensuring transparency and accountability the ombuds person app has been developed by the ministry of rural employment rural development some participants you can read here these were the participants of this particular but coming back ombuds ombuds person this application is linked to mnrega all right this is important and it was launched by giriraj singh if we talk about this app this app has been developed for smooth reporting and categorization of grievances these are the problems all right by ombuds person based on complaints from various sources that is physical digital mass media related to implementation of narega scheme in various states and union territories after joining the ombuds person the registration of ombuds person will be done by the state at present the reporting of complaints passing awards and disposable of complaints are is in physical form the app will also enable easy tracking of awards by ombuds person on each case as per the guidelines can easily upload the quarterly and annual reports on the website through the application so friends this was our video that was based on various applications and web portals 
do like our video and do comment and tell us that if you want us to continue with such initiative of bringing topic wise videos all you have to do is comment below and tell us because your comments are highly valuable to us also if you have any trouble regarding login or payment or any other issues then you can reach to us on our mail that is support at the rate of affairscloud.com or you can call us on the number 9677333862 and we'll resolve your issue as soon as possible also you should go and check our courses that are available at a very reasonable price and that will help you to boost your preparation